it's compelling that interest rates are not the key drivers of investment. Okay. And let me give you a little more color on that. So the theory is pretty solid that the higher the interest rate, lower the investment. And conversely, lower the interest rate, higher the investment. Economic intuition also says that the better the opportunities or the outlook, the greater the investment. Okay. Where the economic theory is somewhat silent is the relative importance of the two. Okay. And there then evidence is helpful in shedding some light on our understanding of, relatively speaking, which of the two matters or do they both matter substantially. And the answer is, it's the profit outlook that influences investment decisions far more than a percent or two up or down in interest rates. Even survey data of corporate managers shows that, they say that, well, if you lower the interest rate by 50 basis points or 1%, we are not going to increase our investment. We worry more about what the climate is what kind of opportunities exist. And it is from in that spirit that we conclude that, that investment is far more responsive, corporate investment especially, is far more responsive to, to the outlook, the investment climate, as opposed to some modest changes in interest rates. Now, if you change by 5%, yes, I mean, that, that, that kind of thing, I'm not, we are not commenting on that. Mm -hmm. But most of the changes are in the half a percent or 1% or 1.5% type. And things don't change dramatically to those nudges in interest rate movements. Case in point, I will give you two cases in point. One is, look at the Western world. Bernanke and Janet Yellen have brought interest rates to zero for the last six years, or five and a half, six years. And a consistent complaint has been in the marketplace that the opportunities, the climate, the economy is still not good enough for making large amounts of investments. And that's why every, every trick in the book has been used to get corporate sector to invest heavily. Housing, at the peak of the crisis, the number of new homes built was two million. Housing starts were at about two million. It fell to about 400,000 plus after the, immediately after the crisis. It still hasn't bounced back to more than 850,000. So in that sense, if interest rates was the big story, then we would have gone back to 200, 2, 2 million uh, housing starts. Second point is China. Interest rates relative to inflation in China are much higher than they are in India. That wedge between interest rates and inflation is bigger. Their interest rates have been comparable to India's or in fact a little bit higher. That hasn't deterred investment in China because the outlook has been much better.